Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I would like to share with you a hopefully easy mini booklet which you can make from one sheet 12 by 12 inch. Uh, I made two styles. Here those slim mini booklets are one style I would like to share with you today and then those mini booklets I would like to share with you today. I'm just gonna quickly show you how you can uh, decorate them. Uh, here I used beautiful washi tapes I received from uh, Nazi. She is owner of a wonderful YouTube channel and also Etsy store. Uh, it's Amity Bloom and uh, I had a chance to join her uh, Bloom uh, Sisters, Bloom, Bloom Tape Sisters and uh, I really love all her, all her products and especially those tapes. If you will have a look how beautiful they are and they are also amazing quality those tapes so if you can go to check out a hair store i will put link down below and i used those tapes here in this mini book and in in few others so here you can see oh this one i forgot so we do have tag here on the top pocket here with small folder, you do have a lot of writing space in this mini book, or you can put there your mini pictures. And this is back of my my book. And here is another one, small charm here here on the bottom. When you open it, you do have again a space for writing. I'm just showing you how you can easily decorate these mini books. And they are amazing to work with, you know, they, they, it is such a pleasure to, to do those easy mini books. And this one, it's really easy. So this, this is backside. And I do have one more in this soft style using uh, Nazis, uh, those tapes. So this is without laces and it does look amazing as well. And here I forgot to hang some charm. And here I did use uh, Tim Holtz <clears throat> papers. And I didn't decorate it too much. I left it kind of plain just to make sure there is lots of space for writing or for some pictures. We do have small folder here and here small notepad. And tag here. So these mini booklets has quite huge space for writing. And now I'm going to show you this second style, which I will share with you today. Uh, these are more like envelope booklets. So this is front cover, this is back cover, and I forgot. Here is like a belly band. And here it's like tuck spot. So you can add, add quite a lot of things into those small mini booklets. And it's open like this. We have one pocket here. And one pocket here. And tuck. And it's made from 12 by 12. So this is one. We do have second here. I'm just going to show you all of them. Maybe you will see something what you will like. So I did all kind of stamping and sewing. Of course, I did sewing because I do love that sewing effect. And as you can see, I did use again Amity Bloom tapes in all these projects. Again, tack. And again, I forgot. Yeah, I'm going to make <laughs> more of them. So we do have belly band here and kind of like tuck spot here and here I do have a mini booklet where I used Tim Holtz papers and here top uh, top cover I have decorated with this gorgeous picture and inside it's again same I just forgot to put something here so we do have pocket decorated with labels and with stamping I do have small tag here And we do have this one and here I think here this was first one and I did glue it so there is not tuck spot and I do have one more this one 
and it's again same way I'm just gonna show you here I do have just you know just small labels back here and we do have that spot here and belly band behind I hope you will enjoy this tutorial so I think one of the most easy mini books from one sheet we are going to create now uh, I've got here 12 by 12 this uh, by looking on that uh, on that pattern this is top of my page and it's just one sided so I'm gonna place that this way and I'm gonna score three six and nine I'm gonna flip it this way and score six that's all from scoring now I'm gonna fold all these score lines and using my bone folder I'm gonna make them nice and burnish so all these score lines And because my paper is just one-sided and I do love vintage style so I'm gonna use uh, distress ink and I'm gonna distress both of these sides so I have distressed both of these sides so uh, I'm gonna be using knife but uh, if you can if you are good with cutting with scissors I'm not uh, you can use scissors and with your scissors cut this is the top of my uh, my page this is the bottom of my page as the pattern goes so cut from this side to the third score line from here or first score line from here but cut this strip between top and bottom like this and now we are going to fold that book I would like to have uh, visible my pattern uh, as I showed you my pattern uh, the page is just one one side printed and I want to see that pattern so I'm gonna be folding this top piece this way then to the bottom this one here now I'm gonna fold that top half down and I'm gonna continue here exactly same this way this way and this way so once I do have it folded, I do have small mini booklet. Here we need to glue our pockets, but before I will do so, I would like to have there some notches. So this will be my top cover. It will be open like this. And here I would like to have top loaded pockets. So I'm gonna be cutting with my circle punch here, small notch. For future pocket so this will be pocket here we will create a pocket by gluing this side and this side so it will be side loaded pocket so I would like to have small notch here and now I do have this last one and again I would like to create top loaded pocket by gluing this and this side so again I'm gonna use my circle punch and punch the notch for my pocket on the top so I do have punched all these notches and I would like to use my sewing machine so I'm gonna open my page one more time this way and I'm gonna be sewing okay I will uh, sew from this point all around and I will finish here and then I will sew here straight line and here straight line and I will come back so I did my stitching all around you don't have to do it this is just because I like the look of that stitching and now we are back this is that top of my page this is the bottom all notches I do have cut and I'm gonna fold again the way I did fold it before and we can start to get a glue and we will be gluing our book so this is first page and it will be also the cover I'm gonna fold it this way or unfold it this way and I'm gonna put a glue if my glue <laughs> will be working just bear with us okay yeah it's working now good one 
That was a good one. So, one more time. I'm going to put the glue here. <laughs> and here on the bottom. And fold this over. Glue it down. Then I do have here this opening. So here I'm going to put a glue again on kind of spine side of my mini book and on the top. And I'm going to fold it back. And then we do have one more opening here. So I'm going to flip it this way. But I hope it will be understandable that this is my spine side of that book. <clears throat> so I'm going to put a glue here. And here on the bottom. And glue this on it. So we started here. I put glue here. So we do have a pocket. Side pocket. If it will be holding and again another pocket so I think my mini book is glued and all it's holding well and I would like to decorate it we got here a few designs I created for this small mini book and few labels uh, and I would like to use these beautiful uh, washi tapes and as you can see this is a little bit darker brown so I'm gonna use vintage photo and distress all edges a little bit more to kind of match it with that brown uh, brown tape. I do have distress all that mini book. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. I'm using distress ink from Ranger and it's vintage photo because it's nicely matching that, that color of that tape. And I do have two panels, one for front and one for back to make it more decorative. And before I will glue these, I'm going to use my beautiful washi tape and use them through to the journal here and there and place them as nice decoration and that final touch of my mini book because they are nicely matching these colors these panels so I'm gonna be using all mix of them and do just small layout on pages and on the sides and I will be also using a beautiful vintage trim I've got here <coughs> I got question about this trim a few times before because this this can be kind of like ripped by hand it's very old uh, my grandma had it so it's <laughs> probably about 100 years old, I'm not sure, and I know it's from Austria, this one. And uh, because it's from Austria, I'm guessing that it's it's that, that long, that it can have more than 100 years, this one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So I'm going to glue it here and there and do a few small layouts. So I do have a few small decorations. In this journal here I put eyelet because uh, I glued that back cover already in. I've got here my front cover and I'm gonna decorate that as well. So first I'm gonna put here this. And I think I would love to have there also some kind of label. Yeah, maybe this one. So I'm gonna put that glue. And I'm gonna glue it right here. And fold it a little bit over the edge. Right here. And put here eyelet too. And then I can hang some nice decoration on these spots here and here this way and 
and last touch will be tacks and with tacks and some insert in this side pocket and small embellishment on the top I think it looks really cute so this is this mini book now let's make another book and I got here again 12 by 12 sheet one-sided print this is like top of my page here is like bottom of my page so I'm gonna twist it this way when top is here and I'm gonna cut that page on eight inches so I do have these two then that large piece I'm gonna cut on six inches and I've got these two parts and that smaller piece I'm gonna cut on five and three quarter and the rest five and three quarter and six and one quarter I'm gonna keep my scoring board here and I'm gonna take this six and three quarter part and I'm gonna score three quarter of uh, yeah three quarter of inch and then four and three quarter I'm gonna fold this down, this up. I'm gonna take my corner punch and punch these four corners and also here. And here so all corners are rounded I'm gonna distress this piece on both sides like this now I can fold not fold now I can take pencil and rule and I can make mark in the middle of this small fold and in the middle of this large fold and I'm gonna put their eyelets here and somewhere here before I will put their eyelets I like sewing effect so I'm gonna sew all over of this piece uh, with my sewing machine so I do have zigzag sewing all around now I'm gonna fold this and I'm gonna do zigzag sewing also on this side if you are not using sewing machine you don't have to do anything else than just add their eyelets to the holes which we uh, which on those marks so I'm gonna punch the hole here and punch the hole here when this is folded so if you are not using sewing machine you need to fold this this way now punch the hole and I'm gonna fix eyelets into those holes so I fixed those eyelets now I'm gonna take this trimmer or this lace and I'm gonna take two pieces about 10 inches long and I'm gonna fix each of these those eyelets so I'm gonna just push it through and you can make a knot or you can glue it all together I think I'm gonna make a knot here and then also use a stapler because I like the look of metal on my projects and staplers are included so I'm gonna make a knot here and also use a stapler and 
do this X around. You don't have to do it. You can just wrap it around or glue it. This is what I like to do. Like this. So I do have my closure. And I'm going to decorate it a little bit with those beautiful washi tapes. So I have decorated this little little piece which will be closure of our book and uh, I'm back with my scoring board and I do have here those two large pieces 8 by 6 so <laughs> scoring these two pieces I'm gonna go one more time because I was off the camera uh, I know I don't have here any pattern in just this writing so try to imagine the pattern goes this way and this is top of my paper here is one half and we're gonna score front paper like front pocket one inch seven inches then flip it back this way and score four inches that will be front pocket and back pocket goes this way and again one inch seven flip it this way as it was on that piece and score two so if you will imagine those two pieces as they were as a 12 by 12 here was that Two inches strip so here I do have my front pocket this is back pocket and score lines are going this way just to make sure you can see hopefully you can see now we're gonna take scissors And with those scissors on front pocket, uh, cut those two rectangles here on the side, cut, cut them off. I think I will need to flip it this way so I can see better way how my score lines are going. So those two rectang small rectangles, cut them off. And with back cover or back pocket, it's exactly the same. Those two small rectangles, cut it off. And again, I'm going to go from up opposite side because I can see that better. Yeah, where you are? I need some go up ah, this way. I can see. So we do have two pieces like this. I'm gonna distress it all. So I do have distress both of my pieces, front and back cover. I'm gonna take washi tapes and do some decoration. I'm gonna also take some stamps and put here and there some stamps. So here I do have my two pieces. I did also added uh, sewing, zigzag sewing on all over of those two pieces. Now I can fold all these score lines and I'm gonna also cut on these uh, side score lines. I'm gonna cut these two flaps in the angle to make sure I can glue it without bulk. So here and here, I did cut in the angle, now I can fold it and fold this over and that will be one pocket. I'm going to add that glue here and here on these sides. And fold this. And I'm gonna take another one 
and do exactly the same. I'm going to cut this and this to the angle, fold it and glue it together. So I do have glued my three pieces prepared. Now I'm going to take this closure. I'm going to flip it this way. So this small flap, it's here. I'm going to take back pocket or back envelope and I'm going to put a glue here about one quarter of inch from the fold. And I'm going to place there my envelope and I will try to place this kind of like in the middle of here and here. If I will be able to put there kind of evenly edges and not exactly to the fold. I'm keeping there about one eighth of inch, not one quarter, one eighth of inch, I will guess. So that's here, here because I've got here this. Um, lace I'm gonna add on the edge this hot glue and just glue it down like this now I'm gonna take that second envelope and I'm gonna match it with that first one to make sure they are both on the same position and here I'm gonna use again hot glue because I've got another but before I will put there any hot glue I don't have here a uh, decorative paper uh, like with uh, with other papers like this one it's Tim Holtz and here you don't have to use any kind of embellishment too much because that paper itself is decorative but this one it's plain so I have already prepared <coughs> a few images which I maybe will use, <coughs> pardon me, so I'm thinking I'm going to use straight away this one and I'm going to glue it first and then glue my envelope, I forgot, I nearly forgot. So this, this is from my collection Something Blue. So now I'm going to go back and match those two envelopes. This way, hold it down. I'm going to put a glue here. And fold and hold it down. So that's our small booklet. That last piece uh, I just distressed, uh, I rounded those corners, distress it with vintage photo and place here uh, those washi tapes and hang there just small charm and it can go right here. And I do have here those two beautiful images, so I'm going to slide them there as well. And we do have beautiful booklet, very easy to make, at least I hope so. <laughs> and here are all of them. One more time. So these are my mini booklets. I do hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found some inspiration. Thank you so, so much for jumping in today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Uh, I wish you a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you next time. Bye.